Uh, welcome to the fifth part of this video tutorial sequence in this one well if you have been following along last time we wrote a little method that would basically connect give us the connection string by right? connection string to connect to MySQL database so today um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna, I'm gonna write a DAO object so basically that will provide some CRUD operation for us we can well mainly to that in this demo I'm just gonna do a SQL in a select statement only um, so the the idea here is that I have a MySQL database here in this MySQL database there I'm using a, a database called world in there there is a table called country that basically provide country information that is what I'm trying to retrieve here okay from the node.js of using express a simple web application okay let's go ahead and uh, create a little uh, JavaScript uh, object here I'm going to name it as a country DAO. Okay. Just some empty literal object here, and then I'm going to export this country DAO. Okay. Inside this method, I'm going to write very fast method that method basically get all the country list can be country information from my SQL database so get all countries this can be a function that takes a callback just one callback here as a parameter callback function to execute okay very first thing of course you know we are trying to connect to uh, my SQL database I mean we need some update that will provide us the connection so since we already have created that one, so let's use that one. Connection provider. We're going to require this object that we wrote in our last video tutorial. Okay, inside this method, let's create a variable called connection. And using this connection provider, it has a property called my SQL connection provider and one of the method it has is case SQL connection okay if that becomes successful assuming that return okay we can do something here and of course next thing we need uh, before that we need a SQL statement it is very simple so we're going to do selecting everything from table called country just make sure that works here is okay that works so this is what we can do and then this connection has uh, one of the method it has is a query to the query, we're going to pass the first is our uh, SQL statement to be executed in the callback function. Callback function takes the errors. We can, you know, if there is error, we can tap into this one. Or we can take rows and fields information. Now, so what happens with the callback function is once this callback function get executed by this query method you will have all the data returned from the database okay so next thing what we have to do, let's say, you know, the we I'm going to declare a variable here uh, called countries. My cap log is on. Here's my uh, countries. And as an empty empty array right now. But however, into this guy right here, we can I can do for each. For each row, we can do something here, right? This is my callback function. So for each row, basically I have this local variable countries. I'm going to push that row 
row into the array object. This row, each row, would be basically you know the key value here from the database. Okay. That is all I have to. I have to. Uh, I have. Well, if this is, if this would be just if I just do this, it wouldn't be go back to them because it's a callback function. Now I have to invoke this callback function. So once this is all inside my object, I'm going to call this um, callback function here, and then pass that country's information to the callback. Okay. So far, you know, now we have. We s if we run this method right now, if everything is good, we should have it should have pull out country information into this um, object array, right? But however, once we now let's go ahead. The other thing we want to do, we want to make sure I I is that we we let's go ahead and, and close this connection. We don't need this anymore because we have our data coming in. The next thing we want to clean that up. So I'm going to say um, we're going to say the connection provider. Go ahead and close SQL connection. But you need to tell you need to tell which connection you want to you're closing. So this is the con connection that we would like to close. Okay, this should be here. Our method is now complete. We should be. Um, we should be able to, you know, like start testing this method, just to see, you know, all the data is coming out or not, right? This method is pretty simple. I don't like to have a bunch of blank spaces here when I write the code, you know, like that's why I'm kind of getting getting rid of those empty uh, empty lines. Anyway, this is all we have to do to get all the countries from the MySQL database. Okay. Go ahead and save this guy, and then in next part will be in in next video tutorial series we'll be testing this method. Just make sure it works, okay? So I will see you in the next uh, video tutorial sequence, and it will be a part six.